Hey guys, I'm back. Did you miss me? Long time no see, right? So yeah, I'm back. let me tell you a little bit about what happened. So <laughs> as I mentioned on the last video, I think that was on the Friday, if I'm not mistaken, I was going to be like all over the place throughout the weekend. Uh, we celebrated our little baby's first uh, year, first like a happy birthday, her, her birthday. Her birthday is on, it's not, it's not, it was not like this Sunday. It was going to be, or it's going to be on, on mid-April, but we didn't have any other uh, date to celebrate with all of the family. So we celebrated and it ran really Really, really late and uh, we had to stay uh, over there uh, so unfortunately I couldn't be back yesterday in time to uh, continue with our uh, like traditional 3d content and today is gonna be a short one today as well it's gonna be a short uh, like demo uh, but it's I think something that you guys are really really gonna like so as you saw in the title we have a new course incoming I'm about to finish the course I'm in the last little like details and I want to spoil you with just one little chapter this is chapter number two and uh, this course is, without further ado, this course is Next Gen Hair Generation for Games. Uh, that's not the official title though, you might have, or we might have a different title, but I'm gonna be showing you guys my workflow on how to create a game or hair for games. And this right here is my good friend, the Merc, the Ogre. He is gonna be uh, available for you guys as soon as we release this course. And this is chapter two. I'm gonna be showing you how to create all of this amazing hair, how to do every single step of the process. So hair creation has always been one of those things that's really, really tricky. People get really like stressed about like how difficult or or complex it, it is. And that's why a lot of people do like sculpted hair or just like a very, very basic hair. I'm gonna be showing you all of the tips, tricks, techniques, workflows uh, in order to get something really, really cool. This is chapter number two in chapter one we go over the whole process first i do like a small little uh, demo i don't want to spoil it either because it's a, it's a fun little prop that you guys are going to be doing and then we jump onto chapter two with this guy we're also going to be doing and uh, i am going to spoil just a little bit of what's coming we're going to do a male groom and a female groom but it's going to be a little bit more special than that i'm not going to show it yet uh but in the next couple of days you guys are going to receive the notification for like the intro video and everything and uh yeah this is it the the hair system that i'm going to be showing you guys and this is something that some of you might find really interesting we're not gonna be using any sort of bakes. We're not gonna be doing any bakes in any software. Everything's gonna be done inside of Maya. A little bit of Photoshop, um, just to adjust a couple of the maps, but everything's gonna be extracted from Maya. And as you can see, the result is just it's just pretty, pretty cool. We're gonna be exploring how to integrate this hair here in Marmoset so that you can get some amazing renders for your, uh, for your characters. And we're also gonna be including, or we're gonna be covering how to introduce this into Unreal Engine 5 so that you can get such an amazing result that's gonna make everyone jealous about your portfolio. So yeah, this is the course that I've been working. Um, it's actually been on the works, not for like the last month. I've been working on it for a couple of uh, more weeks. I've been doing research. I've been creating the assets so that you don't have to texture or, or uh, sculpt anything. You're gonna have all of the characters, all of the textures, everything ready to make uh, or get the best out of this course. So yeah, this is it. Let me know in the comments what you think about this one uh, because I'm, I'm really, really happy on how it's turning out. I think you guys are gonna really, really enjoy it and it's gonna be available very, very, very soon. Now, another little announcement. We're beginning our April um, our April work and I just found which is gonna be our next mini project. We're gonna start with a mini project this month and I found, I found this uh, concept piece by uh, to do Veronica Firsova from Bark Studios, Bark Bark Studios. I found this concept, this one right here. I really, really like this, this sort of like uh, spider orc capture something. And I think it looks cool. I think it has a lot of like complex shapes that's gonna be really fun to sculpt. And I wanna try and get this sort of like a hand painted effect on the final uh, on the final character. So this is gonna be the project. If you wanna see how we make this uh, throughout the next couple of days, make sure to hit subscribe down here, make, to, make sure to like, share, do all of the things that you already know that's, that help us here in YouTube. And uh, yeah, that's it guys. Really, really happy to be back. Thank you for uh, for your patience. Sorry for the uh, <laughs> for the time that I was absent. But uh, yeah, let's keep working. Let's start working on more stuff and I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye-bye.